Hello and welcome. You join me for whatever Saturday the 14th of January brings us. Now this is the team of the week that was released earlier this week. They seem to have only got the one splash screen, so not sure that's pretty much what we expected. Um, let's have a look in and see. Have we got a mini release? Have we got a showdown? Have we got a, a new team task and event thing? Let's have a look. No, no event there today. Season has been finished. This last pack here, um, Foot 23 position player pack, means you get a pack of 11, one goalkeeper, four defenders, four midfielders, and uh, two strikers. So, yeah, that's what that is. Just in case people were wondering, I'm sure the majority of you would have probably got to the end of there as well, like I have. So there's nothing in objectives at all, by the looks of it, and nothing in here either. Milestones isn't touched from yesterday. So let's go moments, then store, then SPCs, and see if anything is included. Nope, nothing in moments. Not a surprise. They could have put something in there, but they haven't anything in there for a while since the Ledley King stuff. We are stuck on our score there. So, the store is next. What's in the store? We've got seven packs I'm keeping for um, one of the bigger teams, one of the bigger promo kind of things. So what do we have? Um, those are the things that were there before, by the looks of it. And the gold pack we've got 40 seconds on, so we'll do that. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Well, about that. Um, season 3 items include this. These kits look nice. I've no idea what K Nembeshi is, but that purple kit looks pretty cool. Pinky purple and the blue one looks kind of nice as well, but not nice enough for me to spend my coins on it. So, uh, let's go to the SPC and just have a look. We have a showdown. The EA Sports Super Cup between Milan and Inter. Is that an actual thing or is that an eSports thing? I'm assuming that's a real life thing. It's an Italian Cup competition. 86 rated striker versus 86 rated cam. 4 star, 5 star, high low is nice. The Qatarian can also be a centre mid rather than a central attacking midfielder. First thing off the bat, that dribbling is lovely. Everything between 87 and 89. Good physicals, decent shooting. You could happily hawk that or hum to that. Very nice indeed. Finesse, flat outside of foot shot trait, pretty much what I would ask for from a cam. And Arigi, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Five star skill moves, but four star weak foot on Arigi. So he is the other way round to Mikatarin. The place pace split is deceptive because his sprint speed is a lot higher than his acceleration. Um, which isn't unusual for a player of his six foot two body type. Flare trait used for there, very good in the air, heavy accuracy ninety nine. Can play left wing and centre forward as well. So Mikatarin looks like slightly the better card, better stamina, better dribbling, better pace, even though the pace is actually different. You'd see what I mean. Um, but he looks like to be the more expensive of the two. So let's have a look. Origi is a an 84 rated squad with an 86 and with a team of the week and with a Serie A. Okay. So it's an 84 for an 86 that could rise to an 88. That's pretty good. What's this going to be? 83 and 84, both with team of the weeks. So... That does make Mkhitaryan the more expensive of the two. Obviously, it's two segments to one. Um, but I guess it also reflects on the fact um, of league positions and all of that, which is 
basically at the moment Milan sits third and Inter sits fourth. Um, Milan are three points ahead. So why Mkhitaryan is more expensive, I'm not sure. Is it reflecting he's the better card? I mean, because of his Armenian nationality, it makes him harder to link unless you are using Serie A or Inter players. So that's a it's a consideration when you're when you're thinking about doing these. But some people may want to do it just because if you get a plus two on that in total, his dribbling is basically 90. The pace is going to be up. The shooting is going to be, well, attacking positioning and shot power basically going to be 90. And the physicals are really good as well. Whereas Origi, you lose out on that heading accuracy. The, the sprint speed will go to 99. Strength will go into the 90s as well. I don't know, Mkhitaryan just looks like a better card to me, but that's just my personal choice off the matter. We have a 100 players upgrade. This is back again. This will probably be the 83, 84, 85 rated squad that we had before. Yep. Premium gold, gold pack, gum jumbo players back. I will probably do this just for the sheer wantingness to do it kind of thing I know it's a bit silly but there's always that chance I'm not going to do it now because it does take a while to put together and I'm going to have to take a while to work out who I want to get rid of and who I want to keep but he that is there the 100 players pack is back I'm probably going to open it now rather than leave it until um, team of the season, just because I've already got some packs plates saved for team of the season, so it's kind of far too tempting to keep open now. We have 83 days left on the 80 plus. I'm trying to do one or two a day just to keep myself ahead of the required target, so I'm not left with like 30 to do on the last day or anything like that. Other than that, that looks like everything today. We have Origi, we have Mkhitaryan. Oh, so, okay. Also being shown, there are some new Centurion players. So we'll just go in and, oops, have a look at them. So first up, we have, let's put concept players on. We'll put, put Centurions. Seamus Coleman, the third premiership right back to get a Centurion card. After Joel Ward and Trent. Power header is the only applicable trait. He's got really good dribbling, really good defending, decent physicals, really good pace as well. That's a nice card. That should be better than the 86 that it is, to be honest. 3-3, three, three, high, high, high work rate. That's a nice card. Be some people will have packed him already, I'm guessing. Yes. Put a cheeky 14k bid in for one, why not? The prizes are a bit deceptive for now because they're basically just new. But let's see what else we got. We have a Rafa Foot Centurion. Portuguese league, obviously really good pace, he always does. Really good dribbling as well. Again, he always does, but he's again one of those players with the um, reactions and composure. Although, still pretty good at 87-85, a little bit lower than the rest. And naturally, due to his short frame and body type, he has got low strength and low aggression in the 50s for both. But, as of the foot shot trait flair and the ever-important bicycles kicks, that's a decent card. You're not going to complain having that. It's a useful super sub with that pace. They're dribbling. Useful to come on when people are tired. Uh, the other one is a French centre-back. Why are we not surprised there? And he is at not. It's Palois, I think it is, rather than Palos. He's got medium-high work rate, 6'2", only a centre-back. 
Pace is okay, it's bearable. Shot power is pretty much null and void. Passing is decent. The dribbling is where you would expect it. Reactions, composure and agility. The defending is pretty solid. The physicals are very good. He's not going to get bullied off the ball without strength aggression. Stamina is a little low. But power header, giant throw in means he'll have a couple of uses as well. I wouldn't, he's not going to get in anybody's first team, let's put it that way. So that's what we've got today. We've got Origi versus Mkhitaryan Showdown. We've got another 100 players pack. And we have Rafa, Coleman and Palawa as newly introduced foot centurions in as a mini release. Oh, I think my Coleman got outbid. Shocking. Um, we will remove that. So yeah, that's what we got today. I'm going to go and do the 100 players pack and fingers crossed I get something good. I will be sharing the pack should I get something good. Other than that, hope you've had a good Saturday. Hope you've enjoyed all the football and there's been some cracking football on today. Other than that, I wish you well. Hope you have a good Saturday evening and enjoy your Sunday and I will see you this time tomorrow unless there's anything crazy that gets added in before then. Thank you for watching and goodbye.